How's it going today everybody and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. So I had a bit of an electrical issue throw me for a loop this week. Thought I'd share it with you. You know, pretty much every electrical diagnosis, the first step is always check your fuse for that circuit, right? So, you know, you have your fuse in the fuse holder. I'll just duplicate it with the battery and this, the wire here. And you have your test light that you hook up to the negative terminal of the battery. And you go and you check the terminals on the fuse, right? This one. See, I've got power. And you go to the other terminal. I've got power there too. Okay. Fuse is good, right? And you even pick up the fuse. Take a good look at it. You can see the fuse, it doesn't look blown. But when you grab your multimeter, set it to ohms. And, you know, test the resistance or continuity of it. It comes up as open. Hmm, what's going on? So you pull the fuse out of the fuse panel, you take a look at it. And you grab the legs. That one seems pretty secure. Look at this one. That one's flopping around. And even you look on the inside, I'll try to focus here, a little bit of black. I think the fuse is blown on a side where you can't really see it. So I'm going to open this up and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm just going to try to break the plastic around the metal part of the fuse, trying to keep it intact. This side. See that leg's already coming out. But if it is what I think it is, you're still gonna see that the fuse is blown. Okay. So let's pull the plastic out of the way. That is where the fuse is supposed to blow right in the middle here you look at these legs okay so i put the fuse back together on the bench here and just kind of push the terminals back together to show you a little bit more in detail what the inside of this fuse looks like so when you have it plugged into your fuse panel your positive terminals here so the power goes up through here and this is where we test it with our test light so you got voltage here and then it goes through and we got voltage here and where that leg was broken was right here so we weren't getting any power flowing from this point back to the circuit but when you test it test good here test good there because the power flows all the way through there making you think fuse is good so you start checking wiring, checking everything else under the sun, and then when you go to take a closer look, always on these on the fuses, just give the leg just a wiggle, make sure it's you know intact. You know if that thing's been pulled in and out dozens of times over the past, it could break down and break. So here's a new fuse. These legs are nice and secure. So I just replaced the fuse and everything worked great. So what I suspect was uh, the terminal just got loose. It wasn't the fact that, you know, there was a short circuit or anything, but it jiggled and wiggled and it just ended up breaking and then blowing out there. Just thought I'd share that tip. Something for you to keep in the back of your mind if you're chasing an electrical issue that something just doesn't add up. Something doesn't seem right. Pull your fuse out take a look at that well let me know what you think in the comments section if you like that video hit the like button if you want to see more like it hit the subscribe button and notification bell that way you get notified when we get new videos coming out that's it for tonight everybody have a good night and thanks for watching